Hello and thank you for watching this video. My name is Staff Sergeant Christopher M. Rangel. I'm a United States Marine with 11 years of active duty service. I'm an 0369 Infantry Platoon Sergeant. Before that, I was an 0331 Machine Gunner. I've been to Iraq three times and one time to Afghanistan. I suffer from TBI and PTSD. I've received a Purple Heart for my wounds sustained while in combat. The Marine Corps has been part of my life for the last 11 years and it will probably continue for the next nine until I retire. I came in when I was 16 years old in the delay entry program. I swore my oath when I was 17 and I shipped off right after I turned 18. It's hard to think about where I would be without the Marine Corps, what I would do if I wasn't part of the Marine Corps, and what I'll continue to do once I exit the Marine Corps, whenever that day might come. In the last two weeks, I have received overwhelming messages, shares, likes, both good and bad, about a photo that I shared on my Facebook page. I had no idea what has transpired would have happened when I wrote my message. I seen the picture come across my Facebook feed. I made a comment and I went back and revisited as there's some criticism came across about what I was doing and why I did it. I deleted those people immediately. I revisited my comments and I changed a few words. What has transpired has been astonishing to say the least in my perspective because I try to be as humble as possible with my military career. Most people know that I'm a Marine, I'm outspoken, but I'm not out flaunting it around. I work diligently and, and as best as possible to provide for my family and myself the best atmosphere I can. I didn't think anything of it after I made my comments last Monday and it went on. I went about my business and had no idea that this would become the juggernaut it did. I had the admin from Gruntworks contact me on Facebook and ask me if I knew what was going on. I had no idea. He asked me to quit playing around with him and to, to take ownership in a way. And I was like, I have no idea what you're talking about. So he shared my photo with me and on his page alone it had 8,000 shares. I never even thought about it after I made my post, like I said earlier. So I visited my page, and my photo had close to 8,000 shares as well. So in literally four days, my words and my picture had traveled to 16,000 other people's Facebook pages. I was astonished and taken back by how much attention I had received. After Monday passed, or as I was Thursday passed and I went into the week I came back and seen it was at 10,000 15,000 and as of this morning it was at 22,000 shares on my Facebook page alone it's hard to estimate how much likes and shares and comments have been said about this photo and my comments that I made with it but knowing that I felt that I had to do something I replied back to almost every message that I received on my Facebook, both good and bad. I looked from both sides of the fence, and a lot of people didn't agree with it, and a lot of people did. I got comments from, I love you, to you're the best thing, you're a hero, to you're scum, that you have no idea what being in the military is about. For the most part, I said thank you for your support. I believe in your, your opinion, and I respect your views. I had lots of people ask me to take my photo down which I still have not and I don't plan on doing so until two months from now I didn't post for fame I didn't post for notoriety I didn't post for anything besides how I felt as a veteran that America is blind that we take the easy route and we look elsewhere when the when something gruesome like this comes but yet we have Americans downrange every day putting up the good fight, and then they come home, and they have absolutely nothing. Eleven years ago, when I first deployed, we didn't have the programs we have for PTSD, TBI. We didn't have the understanding of what suicide is in our veterans. And still today, you know, our veterans turn to 
every avenue to help them out. And almost every day we have a veteran kill themselves. Last year alone, there was over 300 suicides, but there was barely 200 plus killed in action. It's astonishing. So as I sat there and I looked at this photo, I became angry and upset. And I felt that I had to say something and those comments showed. Now, many people agreed with it, many people don't. And for those who don't, I don't care. I'm not, like I said, I'm not here for the fame. I don't care how much you distest me or how much you agree with me. I said it because I felt it's the truth. So as I've watched this, grow, this juggernaut grow, I knew that I had to take full advantage of, of all of this and to do something with it, so, something constructive. And so three days ago, I started a fundraiser for the Fisher House. Now, a lot of people ask me, what is the Fisher House? And essentially what Fisher House has done is they provide housing for families and veterans as they come back from injuries sustained in theater. They provide a housing and somewhere that the soldier, airman, seaman, marine can sit down with his family and recuperate. I know for me that if I was injured, I would want my family as close as possible. But for many, it's unable to because of financial burdens. So what Fisher House has done and provides is a place that allows those families to fly in and stay for the duration of that recovery for that person. It allows that service member to have his family right there with him. And most houses have full furnishing, kitchens, bathrooms, everything that you think of in your normal home. Some of them have the full extent of having medical care inside that house. I've got many comments back saying thank you for you know donating your time and effort and the money that you will raise to the Fisher House. I just felt that I had to do something more than to sit on my hands and let this grow and not use it for my benefit. And when I say my benefit, because as a veteran, if I give to my veterans, karma will come back. I always go out of my way to think World War II, Vietnam, Korea, Persian Gulf, any other vet that I see along the way, whether it be a handshake, pay for a drink, pay for his dinner because I feel that eventually karma will come back. So with my Facebook page, that's where I ask you to come in. I ask that you share this video so people understand where I'm coming from, that they understand the purpose of the Facebook page, so they understand what Fisher House is. Over the next two months, I will meet with the Fisher House here in the Puget Sound where all donations will be going so that we can present a check for the amount that we've raised. Since I started the donation, as well as my raffle for paintball gear, I've raised almost $1,000 in three days. It's astonishing, and I thank you of everyone who's donated thus far. I'm not looking to break anyone's wallet with donations. $5, $10, $15, $20, whatever you feel that you can do is more than worth it because I know that collectively if we all join together like we have with this photo and what I posted will have the ability to raise the $10,000 I would love to see. I put $10,000 because not that I didn't believe in it but I knew it'd be hard and just like my photo and writing my words was hard for me even more so now, it's hard not to want to do more. Since I opened the Facebook page, I've had almost a thousand invites for friends. And like I said earlier, you know, this is just growing. And I need your help to make it continue to grow. All proceeds that we raise through donations and the raffle ticket sales that I have, the paintball equipment that I'm selling goes all to the Fisher House. 100%. Everything that you donate to me goes straight to them. And then they will use it for all the local Puget Sound veterans who need assistance in the Fisher House program. I'm going to sit down with the lead director in a few short days 
and I'll post that video as well and those pictures on both the Facebook page and the donation website. I want you to be experienced and to experience all of this and what we're doing and what I'm trying to accomplish. I want to thank everyone who's given me support, everyone who's messaged me on my shares, likes, messages I received in my inbox. I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you for all the people who are also against what I'm trying to do because you are fueling me to want to try more. I feel that as a veteran it's easy just to go with the flow and, and get out and then have nowhere to turn to. But as a veteran, I can't, I can't sit idly by and let this happen. I can't use all this quote-unquote fame for not something more. So again, I want to thank you and everyone for making this possible. Because without your support, without your shares, without your likes, without your comments, without you telling your buddy, without them telling their buddies, none of this would be possible. The photo would have been nothing. The comments I made to the photo, nothing. And so, like so many things beforehand, we have to bound together. We have to reach down deep. We've got to ruck up for the hard truths that sometimes we don't want to see. So again, I thank you for all your support. And please help me. Please help me donate the $10,000 I'm trying to raise to Fisher House. Please help me share this across every avenue that you possibly can. Tell your friends about it. Send me a message. I'll reply back to you eventually. Whether it's good or bad, I thank all of you. So, in closing, as a Marine, as a veteran, I want to say thank you for all the support and those of you who believe in what I'm trying to do. I look forward to making a video in the coming weeks with the Fisher House lead director. The photos that we'll have will also be posted on the Facebook page and on the donation page at UCARE. Thank you and Semper Fi.